Left and Right Footprint Features in MZ Footprint Indicator The left footprint and right footprint features in the MZ Footprint Indicator allow for comprehensive visualization of market activity by presenting detailed trade data for each price level within a bar. Both sides can be customized independently, enabling traders to analyze different aspects of order flow and price action simultaneously. Footprint Styles The left footprint can display various data metrics, depending on the trader's focus. Bid Shows the number of contracts traded on the bid at each price level. Ask Shows the number of contracts traded on the ask at each price level. Bid X Ask Shows the number of contracts traded on the bid and ask at each price level. Volume Displays the total traded volume at each price level. Delta Highlights the difference between buy, ask, and sell. Volumes at each price level. Delta percentage Shows the delta as a percentage of total volume for each level. Trades number Indicates the number of individual trades executed at each price level. None. No footprint on the side. Cluster visualization styles. Visualize the data in the left footprint using cluster styles. Brick. Solidly filled blocks to represent clusters. Histogram. Partially filled blocks where the fill is proportional to the value. None. No color fill showing only numerical values. Scaling options. The scale of the clusters can be adjusted for different perspectives. Scales the clusters relative to other levels within the same bar. Chart. Scales the clusters based on all bars visible on the chart. All. Scales the clusters across all loaded data. Color options. Customize how clusters are colored. Use volume, Delta or trades number to define the color source. Apply gradient or opacity adjustments based on selected metrics for better visual differentiation. Gradient and filters. Apply gradients to emphasize higher values within the cluster. Use filters to hide clusters with values below a specified threshold. Right Footprint Features To Right Footprint offers the same features and customization options as the left footprint, but is displayed on the opposite side of the bar. This allows traders to analyze complementary or contrasting datasets within the same bar. Key Use Cases for Right Footprint Display complementary data to the left footprint. For instance, set the left footprint to show delta, while the right footprint shows volume to observe both trade pressure and total activity. Use bid x ask on one side and trades number on the other to see both execution levels and the number of trades. Track additional metrics simultaneously, such as using one side to monitor delta percentage while the other highlights volume distribution. Combined use of left and right footprints. The dual side configuration allows for in depth analysis. Identify strong buy or sell imbalances by combining bid x ask with delta or delta percentage. Spot potential reversals or breakout zones by comparing volume and trades number across both sides. Monitor key support and resistance levels with delta on one side and absorption zones enabled. Customization flexibility. Both footprints can be tailored to suit different trading styles and objectives. Use independent filters, colors, and scales to isolate key data points relevant to your strategy. Would you like help setting up a specific configuration for left, right footprints and filters to align with a trading approach? Configuration for reversal detection. If your goal is to identify potential reversals, 
you need to focus on areas of absorption and imbalances. Left footprint style. Delta shows buy sell pressure difference. Cluster style. Histogram. Proportional visualization of delta values. Scale source. Bar. Relative to the current bar for precise levels. Color source. Delta. Use positive negative delta to differentiate buying and selling. Filters. Set display value filter to exclude clusters with low traded volume. Right footprint. Style. Bid X ask. To show executed trades on both sides. Cluster style. Brick. Solid fill to emphasize key levels. Scale source. Chart. To compare levels across visible bars. Color source. Trades number. To identify areas with high trade frequency. Additional settings. Enable support and resistance zones to highlight levels where absorptions or imbalances occur. Set alerts for zones formed by consecutive levels with significant volume. Configuration for breakout analysis. If you are looking to confirm breakouts or breakdowns, focus on volume and delta activity at breakout zones. Left footprint, style. Volume, total traded volume at each level. Cluster style, brick, solid clusters for strong visual impact. Scale source, all, scaling across all loaded bars for perspective. Color source, volume, emphasizes high activity zones. Filters, enable minimum trade volume and trade size filters to isolate key breakout activity. Right footprint. Style, delta percentage, to show where delta is heavily skewed in one direction. Cluster style, histogram, proportional to delta percentage. Scale source. Chart, to see recent breakout activity across bars. Color source. Delta, to differentiate bullish and bearish pressure. Additional settings. Enable delta divergence signals to confirm breakout strength. Use the statistics grid to monitor delta rate and volume changes near breakout levels. Configuration for scalping or high-frequency trading. For scalping, you need granular details on trade counts and immediate market pressure. Left footprint. Style. Trades number. Shows the frequency of trades at each level. Cluster style. Histogram. Proportional to trade counts. Scale source. Bar. Focus on intra-bar activity. Color source. Trades number. To visually emphasize active levels. Right footprint. Style. Bid X. Ask. To see execution activity in real time. Pulse style. None. For clear numeric values without fill. Scale source. Bar. To monitor immediate price activity. Color source. Volume. To highlight high liquidity zones. Additional settings. Use low ticks per level to capture fine details. Set alerts for specific trade size or volume thresholds. General recommendations. Always adjust ticks per level to balance detail and clarity. For slower markets, use smaller tick sizes. For fast markets, increase aggregation. Test configurations with historical data using tick replay to ensure the settings suit your trading style. Learning materials and support. If you want to dive deeper, check out the tutorials playlists on our YouTube channel and indicator guides. You can also join our community forum or contact our support team for personalized assistance. See you in the next videos.